In this lecture, I will be summarizing all the important JAX RS annotations. By the end of it, you will know all the different categories of JAX RS annotations and you will learn them while referring to a couple of projects that I have pulled from my complete Java Web Services course on Udemy, which is being enjoyed by almost 5,000 students across 107 countries. So let's get started. The JAX RS annotations, the core annotation is the at path annotation which we use to map the URI to a JAX RS resource, which is a Java class, or we can also, and also we can use this to annotate our RESTful resource methods with the relative URI, which should match to that particular operation. The next level of annotations are the HTTP method annotations. Each of the HTTP methods has a corresponding JAX RS annotation that we can use to mark our JAX RS resource or RESTful resource methods. So when we mark a method with the at get annotation, that means the JAX web services provider like Apache CXF or Jersey will match the incoming get request to that particular method in on our Java resource. So let's take a look at a RESTful resource project by going to the Eclipse IDE. Here is the REST WS project from my Udemy course. If you look at the patient service, which is the resource interface, the at path is used at a method level here. We can also use it at a class level. This is how we match a URI to the Java resource method. And then as you can see, we use the at get, at put, post and delete to match the HTTP methods to the appropriate Java methods. The next set of annotations are the at produces and at consumes. As the name itself says, these annotations are used to mark what type of data or what type of MIME type data our RESTful resource can produce and what type of data it can accept or consume. On the consumer side, we can use this on the consumer side as well. Or if you are sending the request from a browser, you can select it or you can set the appropriate header for this content type. This produces and consumes can be used at the class level and we can also override them at the method level. So you can use this annotation again at a method level and override it to accept a different type as well. The next set of annotations are the star param annotations. There are several annotations here, the path param, query param, form param, header param, cookie param, bean param, etc. These annotations are used to bind the incoming HTTP request values from various parts of the HTTP request into our Java method parameters. So at, at path param, for example, can be used to bind the value that comes in the URI path to the Java path. So we use path param and then the name of the parameter and automatically at runtime Apache CXF or Jersey will bind, take this value from the URI and bind it to the Java method parameter. Let me give you a few more examples. If you look at the rest injection project, go to the passenger service, you can see a lot of annotations here. The query param annotation can be used to retrieve a query parameter. Typically we use query parameters for paging. So we can retrieve the query parameter, bind it to a Java variable automatically at runtime. Form param, if you are submitting a HTML form, automatically you can bind those values to Java objects using the form param annotation. And if you are passing HTTP headers, you can use the HTTP header param to easily do it. Finally, the context annotation can be used to mark different interfaces. You can use this context against a particular interface and automatically at runtime, all that information will be injected into that particular instance of that interface by the JAX RS runtimes like Jersey and CXF. Here are some examples, URL info, HTTP servlet response, and request. So this can contain all the URI information. This is from JAX RS API, the URI info, 
HTTP servlet response is from the servlet API. So if you mark any of the servlet interfaces like HTTP servlet response, HTTP servlet request, session, etc. with this at context annotation, the JAX RS runtimes will automatically inject that particular instance into the variable. Similarly, the request can be used to wrap the HTTP request information. Let's go back and look at the at context here. So I'm using the at context to inject the HTTP headers automatically at runtime. Apache CXF in my case will inject all the HTTP headers. It will pull them out and inject them into this particular object, which is from the RESTful API, as you can see. It is an interface from the RESTful API. So CXF will create an instance of this and automatically inject it into this at runtime. So JAX RS API makes our job a lot easier by giving us a set of annotations. The core and the important annotation is the at path that can be used at a class level or at a method level. And all these HTTP method annotations are used to mark the methods. The producers and consumes deal with the MIME types or the data types of which the resource will consume or produce. And then all the star param annotations are used to retrieve the data from the incoming request or from the servlet context session, etc. And the context itself can be used to mark any object that the JAX RS runtimes will inject at runtime.